Today we are going to take you on a spin with the brand new compact SUV from Kia Motors, the Kia Sonnet. Let's get to the video. Welcome to Business World, I'm your host Siddharth and today we are going to talk about and do a first look at the brand new Kia Sonnet. So the Kia Sonnet is Kia Motors uh, entry in the compact SUV segment after Kia Seltos and that amazing Kia Carnival. Kia Sonnet made its global debut on August 7th and Kia Motors has also started accepting the bookings in India from August 20th. The Sonnet has already racked up more than 6,500 bookings on the first day itself. So Kia Sonnet has generated a lot of interest amongst the consumers who are looking to buy a compact SUV. So today we are going to see how the Sonnet is actually. So let's look at how the Kia Sonnet looks like from the outside. The front is dominated by the Tiger Nose grille which is a Kia trait. We have seen something similar on uh, the Kia Seldos as well and if you look at it uh, there is no DRL running throughout the nose of the car which is unfortunate we really liked it on the Seltos but uh, on these top end variants you do get uh, LED headlights and also DRLs which are on the both sides which also uh, turn into turn indicators you also get projector fog lamps in this particular GT line variant which is supposed to be the sports variant uh, you get uh, uh, red accents throughout uh, the bottom of the car, right in the front on the diffuser, on the sides, uh, on the footwells and on the rear at the diffuser, rear diffuser as well. When we look at the Sonnet from the side, you can see that it's, it's actually designed really well. It, it doesn't look uh, like an afterthought or something. There is a lot of good uh, design touches here like the 16-inch du dual tone alloy wheels. The rear of the car is actually very well designed and I like the tail lamp uh, cluster which is all LED. Unfortunately the center part of the tail lights do not light up. You also get uh, dual exhausts which are actually fake but it really looks good on the car. So now let's talk about how the new Kia Sonnet IMT petrol drives. Now this is the one liter uh, turbocharged engine. You get it in two transmissions. This is uh, the six-speed IMT, the two-pedal transmission system that you've also seen in the venue. And you also get the seven-speed DCT. IMT stands for Intelligent Manual Transmission, which is in fact a clutchless transmission. It just took me a minute to figure out how this works. And uh, it hasn't been a problem since. And in fact, it has been quite interesting to uh, live with, uh, to drive about and I've been having a great time driving this. Uh, only thing that I've noticed is uh, it does not stall no matter what. The car will start beeping like we have reached a speed breaker right now and I'm in third gear and the car has started beeping saying please shift down. So now I just have to shift down to first and the car moves without any clutch pedal. You can even try and do a little fast shifting, but uh, the clutch is a little slow to engage. It is not that enthusiastic. How does the new Kia Sonnet drive? Now we are in the twisties in the Aravalli Hills in Gurgaon and uh, the suspension here is a little, little, little stiff and which is a good thing because uh, over here in the twisties it feels really taut and uh, the cornering is really good. There is a slight amount of body roll, but uh, considering it's a compact SUV, that's acceptable. On slower speeds, you do uh, feel the smaller bumps, but that's also because the suspension is stiff. Overall, I really like the suspension. It does uh, feel really well put together. Not many uh, undulations or cuts on the road filter into the cabin at higher speeds but yes at lower speeds you do get to feel those uh, small bumps or uh, cuts on the road
Now, Kia Motors have actually given uh, the Sonnet a lot of features. You have uh, a 10.25 inch uh, touchscreen, something similar to the Kia Seltos, and you also have a 4 inch small uh, screen, TFT screen in the speedometer. In fact, the speedometer is also digital. You get an uh, analog rev counter, which is awesome. And uh, temperature and fuel gauge is analog, but rest of the systems are digital. And this this digital speedo actually reminds me of Nissan Kicks but uh, this has way more information and way more features than that particular car so you can see tire pressure you can see your drive information you also have a compass in case you want to be that outdoorsy person on the steering wheel you get cruise control over here you also get your audio controls over here so right now it's uh, 35 degrees Celsius outside and the sun is kind of harsh but the AC is cooling really well and I'm six feet tall I am not having any trouble uh, sitting here and finding a good spot the steering does not adjust for rake it only adjusts for reach which uh, I think they should have provided that you also get uh, ventilated seats which is a good option especially considering our weather in uh, North India at least. One important thing that I want to talk about in this car is the air purifier which is housed in the armrest. Yes, considering the COVID situation and also the climate change that we all are going through, this is a very good addition to your car. You don't have to buy an aftermarket accessory, you don't really have to be worried about uh, the air quality inside the car at least one more thing that you get is built-in perfumes yes no need to buy all those chipku things which we usually use to stick on to our dashboard and ruin it in the process but uh, the car has uh, refillable uh, perfumes and also the air purifier has a carbon filter which can be changed so it's a good thing Kia Motors is offering the Sonnet in two trim levels like the Seltos, the Tech line and the GT line. So the Kia Sonnet comes with three engine options, a 83 PS 1.2 liter petrol, a 120 PS 1 liter turbo petrol which we have seen in other cars as well and a 100 PS 1.5 liter diesel engine. Now this diesel engine uh, comes in two variants, one is uh, with six speed manual and the manual version gets uh, the engine with a WGT turbocharger, a wastegate turbocharger. As you can see, we are driving a different car. This is also the Kia Sonnet, but this is the top of the line diesel variant. Now, why this is important is because this variant comes with a variable geometry uh, turbine. Also, this particular model with the uh, 1.5 liter VGT comes with a six speed top converter auto box. If you go pedal to metal, this engine does get a little audible. But other than that, uh, it's a very refined engine, quite quick to respond as well. It comes with 120 PS of power and 250 Nm of torque. Uh, for this size of SUV, I think that is ample power and uh, torque. Now in this variant, you get drive modes, three drive modes, pressing the button here and you get eco normal and sport mode apart from that uh, you get three traction modes as well snow mud and sand no other compact suv in this segment offers a six speed torque converter gearbox in the diesel variant so this is a segment first with the kia sonnet now the Kia Sonnet is available with the Kia Motors trademark UVO Connect suite of technologies. Now this particular connected mobility solution from Kia Motors has a range of 57 features including voice assist. You can use the UVO Connect and the smart key to get the remote engine start for the automatic and manual transmission and also start your AC and do a multitude of things with the UVO Connect app. So coming to the safety features available in the Kia Sonnet. So you get six airbags, ABS plus EBD, electronic stability control, hill start assist, 
and vehicle stability management. There is also brake assist and a few other more features available in terms of safety. So one thing that stands out in this car is apart from all the features and apart from the interior quality and uh, the engine uh, is the Bose music system. Yes, you get a full six speaker system from Bose. Now, if you are into audio, you also would understand that uh, Bose headphones as it is are very expensive. But yet, uh, Kia Motors is giving you a full complete Bose uh, sound system here like you get in the Seltos. And I think uh, that's a great addition to your whole kit available in this car. The interior of the Kia Seltos is available in two shades of colors. The Tech Line variant gets the beige color of interior and the GT Line variant gets the black color of interiors. The Kia Sonnet can be had in seven solid colors and three dual tone colors. So the Kia Sonnet locks horns with the Hyundai Venue, Maruti Vitara Beza, Ford EcoSport, Tata Nexon and XUV300. So what do you think guys? Do you think the Kia Sonnet can actually take over the current champions of the compact segment? Or do you think Kia Sonnet will be a super hit like its bigger brother, the Kia Seltos? Let us know in the comments below. So that was our first look at the brand new Kia Sonnet. If you like such content, do consider subscribing to BW TV, which is a part of Business World Media Group. I'm your host Siddharth, signing off. Stay safe.